what's good creatives it's your boy again 2g from scissor graphics welcome to my channel today i i'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve a church poster or a, a social media church event flyer without any illustration i know so many of we creatives fight with uh, wanting to use illustration on our project but i want to let you guys know that there are times when you don't need illustration on your project that what you just need to do is to play with the type and your background and you're going to achieve a successful design project i'm sure you're going to enjoy this tutorial and if you need the exercise file simply make use of the link in the description section of this video so sit back relax and keep watching So since it's a social media project, I'm going to make, I'm going to create a new document and it's a church event at work. All right. And uh, my width is going to be 900 and my height here is going to be 900. Now, uh, my resolution is going to be 72 and I'll leave every other settings the way they are. Now, guys, this part here is very important. Always uh, make sure your color mode is set to RGB and the application I'm going to be using today is um, Photoshop. All right, now I'm going to click on the create button and um, we have our, 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 our document set. So the background I'm going to be using today is going to come from um, Pinterest. I'll make sure I provide the link on where you can get the background. All right, now this is the background here. So I'm going to just, you know, make this uh, a bit bigger. I'll just move it up here like that and i'll make a copy of this i'm going to activate the free transform and i'm going to right click and rotate this 180 degree and this should be somewhere around here like that all right so i'm already creating that space for my contents okay so i'm going to select the brush too all right i create a new layer so i'll call this layer brush i'm going to hold on alt and sample a color from here now when you're working on design project guys uh, one of the things you need to first do is to get your background ready all right because your background is what shaped the layout of your project so always make sure that you always have your background ready always create your background before anything all right and when you're creating your background one of the things you need to do where achieving good background for your project is concerned is um, creating that area where you're going to add your content. So this middle here is uh, designed. I designed this, you know, the center part of my frame here for my content. And that's why you have what you're looking at now on your screen. All right. Now I'm going to just blow this out because uh i don't want this uh this gradient effect thing to be on focus all right it's just a background so i don't need to make it be on focus it's just to help my viewers attention be at the center of my frame most of the time i don't want to use or i don't have illustration to use to depict what the project i'm about to work on is talking about what i do is i try as much as possible to play with my type all right that's what I do. I play with my type. I find ways to make my type look interesting. All right. So I'm teaching you guys. I'm going to teach you guys how I mostly achieve that. Okay. So let's just use bold. Should we use bold? Yeah, let's use bold. And I'm going to close the space because I'm still adding other um, information to the project. So this is going to be here. And I'll copy the other text. I'll make a copy, and this should be somewhere around here. All right. Paste this here, and um, delete this. Okay, so this should be here. So now my title is not looking bigger like the way I want it. All right. And the reason why I think I'm I'm not feeling it here because the text I'm using here does not allow. Oh, you know what? 
let's just try options of different fronts all right and um then i'll see which one i think is best for the projects i'm gonna adjust this again then i'll make it i'll put this in a group now this is how i work guys i i always you know have when i want to take pick fronts like if i want to have fronts option from my project i always put i always create a group and put those fronts inside and now if i now see the one i think i'm okay with i'll just stick to that one all right so i here i'm trying to look for a narrow a narrow type that can allow me increase the size of my fonts all right and um something that my viewers can still easily see when i when my clients post it on his or our social media page so if i put this now here and uh, let's see which one looks better um let's see if we can use something not too bold all right so if i use this um no this is not nice let's see if i use this and i'm gonna just add more space between the letters i'll just the tracking here again and see which one is best let's see um i'll change let's just activate my option and change this to optical all right and if i make this cap you know the part of picking the right font most time is um one of the things that we creatives always face you know checking and see trying to achieve something that you know that uh, by the time you place it on the project it will help the project looks successful that's one thing that that's you know the part of choosing the right font is one area i know so many creatives always fight with all right so I'll, i think i'll prefer the trajan um pro font so i'll copy this now the reason i'm i prefer this is because the width of the stroke the text stroke is is not as wide as the previous um uh front that i picked like i i make my second option so that's why i'm using this you know like what i always say to you guys whenever you're working on design projects guys always have your audience in mind all right you're not doing the design for your own sake but for the sake of your audience so try see how you can you know arrange your elements so your viewers can easily see the information on the project all right um so if i move this here like that so right now um i'm not really filling my title you know, remember i told you guys that we're not using any illustration here so we need to find a way to make our title look interesting uh so now i think what would help me here now is to look for um uh, is to create more contrast with my title and uh, part of how i think i can do this well is to use a script type so i'm going to go straight to my john i'll go straight to my character option here and choose southern laurent uh, don't worry i'll put the font name in the description section of um, this video then we can now have this somewhere here like that all right then it can be smaller okay so we can now have this close to this and just you know make this overlap on the title if you make them overlap on each other the fonts the text will still be visible all right people will still be able to see the letters so i'm going to make this real big all right because this is my title so i already have what 
I am going to use to draw people's attention, which is my title here, because uh, we have two different characters here. And when you combine two different characters on your project, it's one of the ways you can draw attention to the information on the project. Contrasting type is part of how we create contrast in graphic design. All right, then I'm going to make this uh, bigger. All right, like that. And let's just take out the tracking. Then this should be a bit smaller. So I can now put this somewhere around here like that. Now, if you look at this, now we already have a beautiful layout here on um, our project with the way we played with our type with our title now the other information i'm going to add to the project should be i'm going to start with the venue you know the venue most time is always the is always the longest text all right so i always like to play with it and use it to um simplify my project so i'm going to put this here all right and i'm going to position just this somewhere around here and make this a bit bigger all right and uh, let's just position this here uh so i'm going to change the front now the reason i'm doing this now is because yeah trijan is is good for body copy all right but uh, there are times when it will be difficult for people to see like there are times when you use it on your when you use it for lengthy text yeah that's it when you use it for lengthy text most time it's always hard for you know your viewers to see the text and that's the reason why i hardly use it for small text size like small body copy text so i'm going to use more stripes it's one of the good front for venue or body copy text so i'll use this and i'm going to position this somewhere around here let's just add more space between the rows all right this should be here like that okay then um what next so the dates all right can then come above um the venue like that then i'll change this to bold and let's just make this bigger all right you no know, like what i always say to you guys um aside from using the design elements which you know is compulsory whenever you're working on any design project the elements are what you're going to use to shape the picture the look of the project all right now the principle of design should always occur on your project they should be available on your project all right because the principle of design are uh, what what spice of the project the elements of design are like the the tools that most you know people use for cooking the elements are the maybe the rice the spaghetti the pots the cooker and so on the principles for design are the spice all right so whenever you're working on your design project just make sure you spice your project with the use of the design principles all right i hope you all get that so i'm going to copy the next text now and um um so i'm going to make this i'm going to play with this because i really want to control the eye movement on my project so i'm going to make this um let's just make this black for now and put this on two I'm done with the arranging of the, the content. So what I'm going to do now is to start see, working on making the pro, spicing the project up more, like adding depth to the project. All right. So I'll just put logo here. Most of the time I add depth to my project. How I do it well is the um, use of reputation. So I'm going to show you guys how i use reputation to um, spice up my project so let's just draw a perfect ellipse shape so i'm just going to draw this so i'm going to hit ctrl j all right and then uh this should come right oh excuse me so this should come here then i'll go to filter blog gallery and hit the field blow option here all right then i'll make this bigger like that and hit the ok button 
then I'm not, I'm going to now move this above all the layers. All right. And I'll make copies of this. I'll make this bigger like that. Move this here. Screen. All right. And make a copy of this again. Move this here. Scale it down. Like that. Okay. Now the logo should be above it. All right. Not it should be close to the logo. Now, guys, this is not the only way to um to achieve successful design. All right. Uh, there are several ways you can do this. Okay. Please. Because I don't want anybody to think, oh, um, so Caesar knows how to do this. And um, I'm, I'm not sure I, I'm up to the task of achieving good design because uh, the way Caesar is always doing it is always the best way. No, there are several ways you can achieve good design. If another designer should handle what I'm doing now, I believe they will even do better than what I'm doing. All right. So don't think what I'm doing is the only way to achieve good design. I'm just showing you guys um, ways, one of the ways you can um make your design you know successful so i'm going to make this a bit bigger and this should be above this like that let's just see um no so i'll go to filter blog gallery and hit the field blog again and i'm going to select the okay button like that and this should be let's just move this below the, the content all right, so this should be here. Make a copy of this again and move this here. Then this can, I'm going to rotate it. Let's move this here. I'll make a copy of this again. This can be here, like that. A copy of this again. Then this can just come. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to make a copy. So I'll move this to somewhere around here, just like that. All right, let's move this somewhere around here. This can move somewhere around here. All right, so just in case you just feel like, well, I just feel like adding more drama to this. You can make a copy of that background again. I just move it here. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I was not supposed to put that inside that group. So I'm gonna make a copy of it. I already made a copy. This can be here. Let's move this above this, like that. Let's move this here like that. Okay, uh, yeah. Then I'll make it. And I'm gonna hold down Alt. Now make sure that you are on the brush too. And I'm gonna be on the hard brush now. And I'll reduce my brush size. Then I'll go under the brush uh, tip here and add space, like that. And then I'll go under the shape dynamic here and i'm gonna increase the size due there because i want to have random size of the brush or let's just play with the minimum diameter all right i'll go back here again and just add more space and this should be like that all right let's see so if i pick a color from here now and just good this is beautiful so i'm going to just gently or randomly add that color to the project like so i hold on alt again and pick another color and just now the good the one of the you know advantage of you know um setting your brush tip to minimum diameter i mean size duder is to have the random size so instead of you changing your brush size here now you don't need to do that all right photoshop is going to do it for you and that's why i'm having this random uh size of my brush so i'm just going to do the same thing again and just you know let's do it here again let's see if i hide this now we should have this all right this is good okay so i can even reduce the opacity of this a bit okay and um yeah so the next thing is to add hue saturation to just um to add saturation and to boost the colors so i'm just going to move this up like that you see we're beginning to have this shiny a uh, beautiful color on the project 
And um, let's see if I move it to this. If I make it plus 38 here now, uh, this is looking more beautiful for me. So we can even make this uh, a bit bigger. All right. Just make it a bit bigger like that. Making a copy of this and just put this inside this text here. And I'm going to hold on Alt and clip this inside the text. And this should be somewhere here. So what we can do now is to activate curve on this. So I'm going to go on that curve here and just say, I want this to apply to just only the text or to the gradient effect here. I'm just going to move this down. All right. So add more, you know, depth to the color. Excuse me. That's not it. So this should be here. This should go down here like that. Let's come right here. Just move this to somewhere. Let's see a better place we can position this. We can then, I'm going to make a copy of this and hold on Alt and make sure it's still clipped inside the text. And we can just, you know, move this to somewhere, you know, around here. So I'm going to be using this abstract, um, abstract line here and first i'm going to take out the um, sun so i'll hit shift f5 on my keyboard and hit the ok button to take that out then i'm going to make a copy of this first all right i'm going to hit ctrl i to reverse this and i'm still seeing some gray color on the background so we need to take out those grays because if we don't it's going to affect our project so i'm going to hit ctrl l to activate levels on this and move this here move this here so i didn't want those lines to be dark all right i didn't want it to be very very dark and take out those dots and that's what i'm trying to do here all right so i am going to hit the okay button now okay then i'm going to drag this and drop on my project like that all right on my project and i'll change my blend mode here to multiply then convert this to a smart object. So then um, this should be somewhere around here, like that. All right, we can rotate it. All right, and another thing we can do is we can um, just, you know, distort it a bit. All right, but you need to be careful when you are doing this distorting part. Why? Because um you know the quality of the image is not strong so if you over apply this as possible you're going to lose the the quality of the image okay so i need to move this here let me just move it here like that and this should be somewhere here okay and um okay make a copy of this again and then this can now come right here can rotate it all right and just you know position it somewhere here all right um so it's looking too strong here so what we can do is i'm going to add a layer mask and select the brush to increase my brush size go under my brush testing turn off shape dynamic and then i'm going to activate transfer and go under my transfer option here and make sure that my pen pressure my control is set to pen pressure so uh this is for only the graph for the graphic tablet users but if you don't have a graphics tablet simply turn your flow down to 8 or 11 you're still going to achieve the same move so the idea is to be able to control the strength of your brush so i'm going to make sure that my foreground here is set to black and I'm going to gently apply uh, the brush to the layer mask of this abstract line that I have here. It should be on the soft round brush. All right. Make sure you're on the soft round brush when you're doing this. So I'm going to just gently apply that here like that. All right. Because I still want to see that that's rainbow effecting on the project but before i stop guys let's see if we add curve to the project to see if we can still add depth to the project 
like that. Okay, so this. can come right here okay so i can also move my yeah i can position my logo here just to uh, make the layouts look more fun all right and replace where my logo is with the abstract line here and i am going to stop here all right guys i'm glad you all uh, made it to the end of this uh training and um if you have not subscribed guys please hit the subscribe button and um remember to check the notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video and please guys the share part is very important to me let other creatives know um know about what i do for you guys share this with them let them also learn from um from me and um, thank you all once again. If there's anything you notice or you want to say about this training, kindly drop it in the comment section. I'll try my best to reply your message. And thank you all once again. See you in the next one. Peace, guys.